Ah, yes, my boys. YT Dan, back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. So, I am beginning to get into the phase, the normalcy of YouTubing on YouTube. It's gonna be a whole thing. I gotta get back into uploading regularly. I gotta get back into making content regularly. I gotta get out a bunch of bad videos and play mistakes. So, my boys, if you ever see me do a live here on this channel, you know that your boy will make a play mistake and or goof. So that's why we gotta get in there with some practice videos. <laughs> but real talk, my boy, we're gonna talk about um, SP Little Knight's brand new pack the SP Little Knight pack with also a little bit of <laughs> horse in it. <laughs> we're going to talk about the new pack, my boy. We're going to look at some of these new cards. I'm going to talk about the cards, and then we're just going to take it from there. Now, if you saw my live stream, I went in and I made some purchases. I went into the uh, game, and I bought some packs. We took a look in here, and we kind of saw like what was going on. I ended up having to buy this individually, which was very annoying. After spending 2,000 of those things, I had to buy one of these by um, dismantling other UARTs, which sucked. But this card brought in tremendous value because it is just that good. Now, if you don't already know this card's effect, you should. If you have not read this card's effect or come across this card yet, you will. I guarantee it. This is one of the strongest Link 2 monsters in the game, which is really saying something because... Previously, we had IP Mascarena, which was a great Link 2, which will let you Link 2 into maybe something like Nightmare or Unicorn or um, uh, Avermax or any of those other Link 4 monsters that could potentially cause your opponent some trouble. Um, what's cool about this card is on the Link Summon, you can get a Banish of a Fusion Synchro uh, Exceeds or Link Monsters ritual monsters i guess you know hey they, they went in out here because they aren't affected by that first vanish and then also what else is really disgusting is that pretty much you know when a, a opponent activates a card or an effect you can basically make this card run away which is really cool but it has to be when a card effect is activated and it's not at your free will which is also what i would say is like the quote unquote weakness or the point where you could like interact with this car you can just go right into battle and run it over but you know the, at the end of the day you know if you activate an effect while sp little knight is on the field then technically you're kind of being punished by that effect so definitely a card you should watch definitely a card you should pick up if you get prismatic i'm jealous let's take a look at the next all right so another card that we just got brand new salaman great of fire this car is really good basically salaman great of fire um allows you to add a uh salaman great you know to the hand all these salaman great cards have really good effects either being special summon or move from the grave or vice versa so you know this is just a really good starter card there's like not really any uh conversation to really have with that like it's a new starter to come into a deck that already had strong starters so guess what that means the deck got stronger. So what did they get stronger for? They got stronger for this new boss monster, Salomon Great, Raging Phoenix. So this is a pretty interesting card. Two fire monsters, you know, plus whatever other materials you gotta do, you know, two fire effect monsters and you can get this going. When this card is Link Summoned, it's gonna add a Salomon Great card from your deck to the hand, which is pretty cool, combo extender. And then also you have um, this card saying, you know, if a face-up fire monster on the field be destroyed by battle card effect, you can target one uh, of those monsters and special summon this card uh, from the graveyard and gain attack and defense of the monster. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So you got some a card that's a combo extender and that can uh, provide a uh, uh, attack point increase. You know, primarily as I look at this card, nice go second, nice game closer. It's an okay card. It's pretty good. Um... All right, so now we got to kind of take a look at this Horde, this King Sarcophagus set. I think this card is pretty pretty cool. I think I really like the Horse cards. Basically says, Horse monsters you control cannot be 
uh, destroyed by card effects uh, that target them. It says you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to send a horse monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then you can only use the effect of King's Octopus once per turn. And then once per turn, during the start of the damage step, if one of your horse monsters do battle with your opponent's monsters, you can send that monster to the graveyard uh, instead. So I really like this uh, King Sarcophagus thing, and you might even know why. You know, hey, I mean, I wear my bias right here on my sleeve, my boy. You know, I've been out here in the game trying to return to the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. My whole thing is I'm going to get back to the TCG. And when I get back to TC, I, TCG, I want to bring my Gladiator Beast. One of the archetypes that I thought would work really well with my Gladiator Beast Tri Brigade deck is the King Sarcophagus. We talk about the three effect rule and things like that in my book, Revival of the Duelist, which you can read for free on Amazon and Kindle platforms. But <laughs> check it out, my boy. <laughs> It'll really help you out and learn stuff about uh, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But honestly, one of those things I do talk about is like the three effect rule and it's so strong and it's so powerful and it's important to have and in the Gladiator Beast deck, we have one monster with three effects that if we can get that monster's effect off, it is game. So we need other cards to bait Ash. We need other cards to activate our tri Brigade effects. And we need other cards to give our, our opponent some, some uh, reason to activate cards to prevent us uh, from playing so that we can actually drop the Dragasis and attack. For gladiator beast game like you know what i'm saying my boy if you don't know what i'm talking about you got to check me out but there's even more content coming for that on the way but king sarcophagus is really good i've been hearing a lot of stuff about the horse engine and just how this deck works and a ton of people are talking about how this is just a really good deck future proof engine pick it up and keep it but unlike the tcg since you can like kind of break stuff down and like get new urs there's no rush to pick this up and then of course with the tcg you know, if, if you got it, you got it. If you don't, go buy it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's pretty much it. But these cards are pretty nuts. Primarily, there are a bunch of um, uh, cards that can summon themselves from the graveyard if the sarcophagus is on the field and the sarcophagus puts a, um, a horse cart in the grave to get the process going in the first place. Now, what's pretty cool about this card, you know, e each of the horse cards, they, they make you discard cards to, to move things around. But this particular one's a spellcaster, but the rest are beast, beast warrior, and wing beast. So I think this is gonna be a pretty uh pretty pretty spicy little deck that I build here. Um, but you know, you guys gotta stay tuned to see. Now the last one we're gonna talk about is me mentos. We're gonna talk about me mentos because a lot of people are talking about how this deck is extra double booty water, no cheese, hold the sauce. And honestly, I mean it, it seems okay to me, like all the cards that can normal summon or special summon have the effect to like add a card or search a card or do something like that, which I mean, like if you can't do nothing with that, what can you do something with, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, they do have this ridiculously uh, strong level 11 monster that is, you know, strong go second, attack all your opponents monsters with five G's, that's pretty cool. But the weird thing about this guy is he has no immunity or no protection. So that's like a huge weakness for this guy. He's just like a big body. And even if you have protection in like the field spell and the other cards um, that you can play with that guy, it's kind of almost like, you know, again, he's not good solitary. So in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you can't do it on your own, you kind of can't do it. So another card I want to talk about, Overload Fusion. I want to point this out right now. If you are a duelist who have been playing back in the day where Future Fusion was around, this is your time to get back in, my boy. Come back in with your Cyber Dark deck. We need to see it, my boy, because Overload Future Fusion is here. This card lets you send Fusion materials from your deck to the graveyard and then Fusion summon with it on the next turn, which is pretty disgusting. Uh, or you can just use this card as a Dark Machine Fusion spell chart is once per turn every turn so it's absolutely disgusting this card is really really good and honestly i feel like you know if you play something that runs dark machines and you, and you got something like this that got a dark fusion target i mean you you kind of probably want to have a spicy little combo with this like set up the graveyard 
a continuous fusion spell card is ridiculous. That has no cost. It just is fusion summon one dark fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing materials from the graveyard. That is zero cost. <laughs> That's free. So, you know, I really like that, my boy. And from my understanding here, there's just like tons of other good cards in here. But we got one other card that we really got to take a look at that I have not seen that or I didn't know was even in here until just a minute ago. Check it out, my boy. Valance Wave Master Phase. Now, nobody's talking about this card, but this card is pretty freaking dope. Continuous Trap card for Valance needs to be searched out. You know, there isn't really any cards that can go grab this card, I believe, except for Shinona May. And you probably wouldn't grab it with Shinona May. Yeah. No, no, no. You not, don't even have Shinona May. So real talk, if they created a card for this, I would imagine that, you know, if you're looking at this card, this card um, shows uh, Voltage Vis... Not Voltage Vis count. Um, it shows the uh, Arctos 12 at the top. So if Arctos 12 is at the top. That's an Earth Fairy. Or, yeah, he's an Earth Fairy. So if that's an Earth Fairy, then I want to see either earth fairies and earth machines or i want to see you know i want to see earth something valence and if we can get some earth something valence and their shinona may card searches the trap mm, that's what we need so we neither need um effect monster earth valence monsters or we need pendulum based um earth valence monsters either way we need something to search this trap card but basically this card will give all level five or higher valence mass monsters 1200 extra attack which is okay but then you can send this card from the spell trap zone to target one effect monster your opponent controls and put it in the spell trap zone as a continuous spell now that is the value so you can get a continuous boost turn over turn or you can just you know column push which i really like in this deck so I hope that Valence gets some sort of card that lets you search a trap card so that we can get this card to set it easily because otherwise you got to play like three of them if you really want to see it. And I really don't like doing that. All right, my boys, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I'm going to be getting back in there uh, for more content every single day, my boy. Catch me every day out here making videos. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.